So today we're going to be doing a Diamond Dynasty debut on one of the finest cards that was just released, Jeff McNeil. Normally a left fielder, we're going to stick him at second base because I feel like he fits that mold a little bit better. But I feel like this finest card could be a little bit of a glitch. A lot of these cards today were really nice. Glaber Torres, Chris Bryant, Mitch Garver, we had a Jorge Soler. His fielding's kind of trash, but still looks like a really good offensive card. So if you guys want to see some more Diamond Dynasty videos in the comment section down below, let me know what you would like to see. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe and turn on bell notifications. Bell notifications so you're notified whenever a video does go live. Other than that, guys, I think that's it. Let's talk about this card. So obviously you can get a free finest card by going to a wild card and doing the set to get a finest set two card for free. I think the servers are having a little bit of issues right now. You can also buy a pack there. There's three available. Rendon looks good. You got Albies, Glaber Torres, Max Muncy, Chris Bryant, Jeff McNeil, Tim Anderson, Jorge Soler, Mitch Garver, Danny Santana. I mean, those cards, all of them look pretty good, actually. So the card we're going to be talking about today is Jeff McNeil, like I've already mentioned. And obviously, by the thumbnail and the title, you know that's his debut. So look at those hitting stats. Obviously, a left fielder, like I've mentioned. We're going to play him at second base. But look at those hitting stats. Contact through the roof. Vision through the roof. Decent power versus righties as well. And decent po It's okay. Power versus lefties. Not the best. But... I'm mostly here for those contact and vision stats. It looks really good. I think this card's going to slap. Really can play all across the field except for shortstop and center field and also catcher. But I'm going to stick him at second. Normally with 73 fielding, 73 arm accuracy, 70. No, 73 arm strength, 70 arm accuracy, and 73 reactions. When you stick him at second, you're working at a nice 69 fielding and reaction so still not terrible we're gonna see how he plays we're also gonna have him in the leadoff spot with willie mays a griffey brian anderson we're gonna give him a debut adrian gonzalez hanley ramirez tony gwynn and pudge behind the dish you guys are gonna see here i do have one plate appearance and i struck out with them i played a game right before this and it dc we we were in a little bit of a freeze off for like five minutes which was really annoying so that's why i kind of mentioned maybe the servers are a little iffy well, let's hop into this game see how things go all righty so let's take a look see our opponent's lineup he's got viskel griffey ted williams edwin bryce harper max muncie uh chipper jones and jason kendall with the finest matthew boyd on the mound it is a lefty not what i was looking for that should be a base hit for Jeff McNeil to start the game off. I like that a lot. Okay. All right. Willie Mays. Oh. Uh. Man, that sucks. That's going to drop, unfortunately. Oh, I feel so bad. Come on. Round it. Go to second. Oh, this is getting a run into. Oh, that is such a oh that's such a bad hit oh i'm so sorry oh man i mean it should have only been second and third like a double you know and and unfortunately he took a bad route to the ball so i feel bad for the guy i really do but um it could have just been an extra base hit but instead the bad route gave me a run and now we have griffey on second with one out brian anderson up these pitches are floating come on adrian gonzalez up who crushes baseballs for a living oh i saw the pitch up and i just saw it was gonna be off speed too late Ooh, that one hurts because i would have crushed it but that's all right we still got that one run lead adrian gonzalez just mashes the ball it doesn't matter what he hits it so hard all right kershaw on the mound and to be honest, I'm not I'm not too sure I like Kershaw that much anymore. Something about him just I can't I can't locate with him right. I always seem to hang pitches. A lot of people have seen him a lot, so people are used to his pitches. It's just uh maybe it's time for him to take a spot on the bench. Maybe. Uh that's a good start to the game though. Alright, Teddy Ball game. Here we go. Another lefty. So I like this matchup little slider inside and he gets himself a little late late hit i'm i'm okay with that because the one that got me the run it was pretty bad so we're gonna go up and in with the sinker see if he goes after it 
and he doesn't so we walk first and second for bryce harper now all right so it's getting a little interesting with two outs here keep it in front you don't is he gonna go he's going back to second though do we got the arm to get him oh we got the tag down and he runs himself out of the inning unfortunately all right i'm like way too early on every single pitch i need to sit back on matthew boyd a little bit his pitches just come in so slow tie ball game for sure my god Ooh, ooh. i guess he was he was not expecting off speed there which is good for me nice little slider down in the zone agon's not making that play you know what? I'm going to go back to the curve because he wasn't expecting it the first time. Is he going to be expecting it this time? Not at all. Not at all. Just got to wait for the right pitch. I mean, we're sitting 1-0 right now. We just need a good pitch in the zone. Like that. And unfortunately, it's going to be a ground out. Not too sure how much I was on top of that. Obviously, we're going to take a look at the PCI. But maybe a little early. Good, good. I was a little bit on top of it. All right. Fair enough. Ooh, that's uh, going to be a double? Yeah, this guy's routes are so bad to the ball. Oh, my God. They're helping me out, and I feel bad for him. But um, early on the changeup, way in the zone, but I'll take it. I didn't mean to swing at that. Oh, man. To end the inning. Oh, man, that's so atrocious. He's going to get a double here. Unless Gwyn just comes up firing. He kept it to a single. He had a double for sure. They always do that crow hop animation. That was 100% a double. Griffey's up. Nice little slider down in the zone. Get some thinking. All right. Let's go up and away here. Right where I wanted it. He just wasn't biting on it. All right. So just got to keep changing eye levels. Get him thinking about pitches. That's exactly what I want. All right, let's keep going. I miss my spot. I miss my spot. That's what I get. Good, good on the the changeup. That's unfortunate. We're down two to one, cause everything was going really well, and of course, just missed the spot with the changeup, and we're down two to one now. We're gonna go to the curve here. And uh, that's the inning. Man, so close to getting out of that. Already Aegon. He's going to throw you a low curveball. Or a slider. And I don't think Ted Williams is getting to that. So we got an extra base hit. Oh, he got to it. Oh, man. I thought we had enough, enough little slice on that to get away from him. Oh, that sucks. All right, 2-1. Still. We're going to start him off with the fastball inside. We're going to go back to another pitch in, up and in. We're going to go to the sinker, though. Just can't do that. Just can't leave it up in the zone, like center part of the plate. And we're just going to stay up. This time, we're going to go up and away with the fastball. Hope he's not expecting it. Huh? How does he take that? Oh, man. One, two count. We're going to go inside with the slider. Sit down. There we go. Curveball outside. All right. One, one count. Come on, we need we need something here. That's not it. All right, one, two, high fastball. Come on. <sighs> it was. That's what we got. All right, I'm going to throw him two curveballs in a row because I doubt he's expecting that. I need something to just, yeah. Like I said, I doubt he was expecting it. I just need Pudge to get up throwing. There we go. Two outs. Pitcher's going to be up. And I need the top half of my lineup to do some work. Because it's already the fifth inning. And we're still losing. We have a combined six hits. All right. That pitch wasn't it. I missed. I whiffed on it. We're all good. Give me that low pitch you want to throw me. Nice little bloop up the middle. I'll take that. I'll take that. Two for three day for Jeff McNeil. That's all I'm expecting him to do. Just slap it out there in the... In, you know, in no man's land. That's all I want. Ho! Oh, squared up just early on the circle change. That's getting down again. I'm not going to test Bryce Harper's arm. We're going to go second and third, or first and second. And I feel bad because that was another really trash hit. So, late squared up. I mean, at least I was squared up on it. 
All right, Griffey, this is your chance here. I really need you to put this in play. All right, 2-0. That's good. We got that hitter's count. Just got to... Just got to wait for that pitch. He's really going to go to the bullpen right here for Jesus Lazardo. Okay. In the middle of... In the middle of an at-bat, he's going to go to a, a pitching change. All right. Ken Griffey Jr. I was saying I need you to come up big. You do it for us this time instead of him. And now we got a two-run lead. Four to two ball game. That's what I'm talking about. And he's got no confidence. Come on, here we go. Brian Anderson's going to get himself a hit, extra base hit too. Oh, man, I thought that was going to sneak by Ted Williams, but okay. At least we're getting somewhat of a rally going. Aegon now. Ooh, ooh. Can we break it open? I was early on it. Is that going to drop it? It's not. I think, I, oh, luckily he wasn't expecting it. Oh, I thought he was, I think he thought it was going to drop too. I thought that was going to sneak in. All right, whatever. That was a nice change up. All right, I'm going to do a hit and run here because I have a feeling he's going to throw me a good pitch. Unfortunately, it's going to be caught. Man, but I'll take it because Griffey came up huge with that three-run bomb. The thing is, I do have the bullpen going. I have Sergio Romo and Andrew Miller just in case things get a little dicey, but so far so good. Jeff McNeil getting in on the action on defense now. All right. This is really the only guy who's done damage to us. So just can't do that. Can't do that at all. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna test my luck. I'm going to go with another low changeup. And Aegon makes the play at first. There we go. All right. 3-1 count. I guess I have to attack him here. I think Edwin is up next. I swung at that one, which, I mean, it was... It was a strike, so I mean, it would have been full count regardless. It's just we got to make sure we hit our spots here. Just fouls that off. All right. Um, I think I'm going to miss this pitch. Actually, ooh, sit down. Nice little sinker up in the zone. This guy keeps changing his pitchers mid at bat. Like, come on. All right, we're going to take Kershaw out. He's been pitching okay, but... It's time for some Billy Williams, all right? Willie Billiams, that's what I'm talking about. Big Willie. Is that off the wall? Is that going to be caught? What's going on here? It's going to be caught. Ugh. Up and away. And is that going to dip in there? It's not. Almost got that really dumb animation in outfield, but I'll take it. It's, it's not the best inning. Could have been a lot better. All right. You're probably thinking, hey, why are you putting a lefty with Encarnacion up? Well, because he's got two lefties up next, and I feel like this is probably just better to plan around it. Expecting lefties coming. Huh? How did he get to that? Very late. Interesting. There we go. We still get that fastball by him, and that's a strikeout. So this is what I was talking about. He has Harper and Muncie up next. So I was like, let's just get the lefties in. Let's plan for it. Let's get ahead, because I don't really want to have to pitch just for one hitter i know it's a close game but let's just save some bullpen oh oh not where i wanted it but i will take the slider there all day that was oof that leaves me moister than an oyster that's right put it down in the comment section moister than an oyster let's do this how did he how are you making contact with that you're early on a pitch like that come on and that's a strikeout. Did he just strike out the side? Pretty sure he did. All right, Billy Mays. Let's go. Let's get this going. That's a base knock. I'll take that for sure. 92 speed. We'll leave it at a single. All right, Griffey's having himself a day. Two for three. Home run, double, four RBIs. And somehow gets by. And we're going to leave it at first because he was going to throw it to second. We got runners on the corners. Griffey's a triple away from the cycle. Is he going to get it? Probably not, but you know what? Who knows? Anything can happen, right? Like Kevin Garnett said, anything is possible. I need I need that smooth, glitchy swing where you take this ball 700 feet. I mean, a sack fly, I'll take it, I guess. How did I miss? 
That was a high fastball, exactly what I wanted for Aegon. Where did I miss on that one? Because that should have been three run bomb, no doubt animation. Mm, just missed it, I guess. And I'm gonna fly out as well to dead center. Man, that, that inning felt good. Like I got some good contact on pitches. Just felt like I wasn't rewarded. We did get a, a run, so it's not terrible, but hmm. All right, let's go to Sergio Romo. Let's have some fun. All right, so far, so good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's go cutter up and in. Ooh, okay. He's got, he, takes that, he takes that pitch. All right. Oh, nice little sinker. Brian Anderson's got the defense at third. No problem. That's an out here in the eighth. Oh, this slider is giving him so much trouble. I love it. Let's go to the changeup now. Oh, come on. Come on, Jeff McNeil. I need you to not take so much time. But he makes the play. Vlad Jr. You know what? I'll come at you. With a 91 mile an hour fastball up and in. You know what? I'll go up and in with the sinker too. <laughs> Alright. Let's go low and away cutter. The pitch I get killed with the most. Luckily for me, he missed it. Because that really wasn't where I wanted it. But we're going to go back to that same area. Oh, that slider is nasty. Sit down. Seriously, if that's any other stadium that's gone, that's what, 390 right there? Probably not any other stadium, but please tell me where I missed that. We're going to bring in Mo Jorgen to be our pinch hitter to keep us alive. Good, good two seam up in the zone. And you're telling me I'm not getting rewarded for that? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Chapman. We're gonna see if he can close out the game. We still have Kenley Jansen in the bullpen. Wasn't able to get McNeil one more at bat, but I think he's gonna finish the day 500. Which I mean, he's do, and he did what I expected him to do. Just slap the ball, you know, in the outfield, kind of like Ichiro. That's what I'm expecting him to be, like a little mini Ichiro, where he just slaps the ball. That's what he does. Nice little slider. Should be an easy play for Billy Mays in center. There's the out. All right, let's go, Griffey. I'm going to challenge you. 0-1. Let's get that fastball up in the zone. A little bit too far outside, so we're going to come inside this time. There it is. 99. Do I do it again? I think I do. Let's do it. <laughs> How late was that? I think the ball was already getting thrown to third base by the time he realized that the pitch went by him. Like He was so late on that swing. A little late on that one too. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna quick pitch him the next pitch. And see what happens. But I'm gonna go off speed. Oh, he didn't go for it. All right. Um, he's probably expecting a fastball. Let's give it to him anyways. Okay, a little late on it. I'm gonna do it again. Let's have some fun. I know he's got Edwin up next, but that's the game right there. Ooh, 100 mile an hour fastball blown right by him. So, I mean, Griffey had to be the player of the game. I think he drove in, like, every single run. No, he he, he drove in four, though. So, I mean, it, it, he was our offense today. That three-run bomb, it definitely changed the game. And, I mean, he was, he was pretty important. The, Jeff McNeil, though, two runs. He got him two times. I mean, it wasn't amazing. But at second base, definitely can get away with it. Possibly even third. So it's like second, third. If you really wanted to play him in the outfield, I'm, ass I'm assuming you could get away with it. Obviously, like fielding is really iffy in this year's game. It either goes really well or really bad. Who knows what's going to happen? But for the most part, I'd probably stick McNeil at second or third. I feel like that fits him the best. And that contact makes him a really glitchy card. He's just going to slap it into those gaps. He's going to slap it in between the outfield and the infield. It's going to be that little space, that Ichiro type hit. And I think he's going to be a card I'm going to use a little bit. I'm going to see how he feels. So again, guys, if you want to see any other debuts, Chris Bryant, Glaber Torres, anything like that, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. Make sure you turn on all bell notification icon or turn on the bell notification icon. Make sure it's all notifications so you're notified whenever a video does go live. And other than that, guys, make sure you hit the, or the, the thumbs up button. I'm all over the place. I'm trying to get this video out for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.